Say yes to new beginnings. Yes. Say yes to new standards of excellence. Yes. Say yes to engage in reportage with a difference. Yes. Introducing Yes International Magazine. Tell us about the National uh, Institute of uh, Marketing Nigeria, MIMN. All right, thank you, Azu, uh, and uh, congratulations on the many feats, the book launch, the magazine sale, and uh, the good age. <laughs> All right, uh, the National Institute of Marketing of Nigeria uh, was uh, established by the Act of Parliament uh, 25 of 2003. And the uh, institute before then, you know, had, had uh, different uh, institutions that have piloted different ideas. Uh, but the Act of Parliament has strengthened the marketing profession and established it and gave it that uh, legal backing to be the sole institute that regulate the marketing activities in Nigeria. Which means that uh, everyone that practicing that practice anything that relates to marketing be advertising, be public relations, sales, uh, and what have you, uh, must be registered to uh, be licensed by the National Institute of Marketing of Nigeria. Interesting. Interesting. So how long ago did you become a member of uh, National Institute of... Uh, or how long ago did you become a member of the Institute? Oh, for me, uh, well, I've been a member of the Institute for many years. Uh, Officially, I got inducted in year 2000, and that's over 20 years ago. I, I wrote the exam, stages exam, uh, you know, from one stage to the other, and I qualified. And I was inducted in 2000, uh, year 2000, and that is about 22 years ago, actually, as an as associate member of the institute. And uh, from there, I moved on to, you know, elevated to the full membership. And uh, today, I'm a fellow of the Institute, uh, you know, uh, of, of the Institute as the highest level of membership. Interesting. Interesting. So, why do you want to be the second uh, vice president of the Institute? In institute? All right. Well, uh, the truth is, uh, I'm passionate about marketing and advancement of the Institute, institute that as well. I've contributed immensely, all right, like I did mention. Uh, when I qualify, I, I qualify as the overall best candidate in my set. And uh, at my induction in year 2000, and I remember very well at the National Art Theatre then, uh, we are over 600, uh, you know, inductees. And uh, I was called out by the then uh, president to receive the presidential, uh, you know, uh, overall best gift award. I, I was highly surprised because I wasn't expecting that. I was just doing my exam to excel. And uh, after then, I've been contributing my own quota. Even as I then, year 2000, I published a book, all right, to support and aid the marketing student especially. And that book is called The Compendium of Marketing Terminology. It's just uh, like an, an additional book of reference to support and help interpret some uh, marketing, maybe one of the college jargons and what have you, for students essentially and marketing professional alike. And uh, after then, uh, I've been, I mean, I've worked in different organizations, in marketing roles, sales, customer service role in different organizations. And because of my passion for marketing, I've been consistent with my membership, pay my dues annually. And um, I've served in the exam committee, all right, as an exam examiner. I've served in different committee of the institute, committee of the council. Uh, I've served in membership committee. I've served in, uh, in fact, I was uh, privileged to be the committee chair to have, uh, you know, started the, uh, what you call the newsletter of the Institute some years ago. And I've also served, you know, to as the committee chair to institutionalize an uh, e-library for the, you know, the Institute. And apart from that, uh, I belong to members, I mean, Kedja membership, Kedja chapter of the Institute, as well as uh, along the line, I was privileged to work, you know, as a staff of the Institute uh, as the you know highest level of uh, management level, which is the registrar CEO of the institute, which I was there for four years, and of course at that time there was a bit of uh, you know uh, this, the, uh, this harmony as we want to get this unity within the institute and our fashions, and uh, I was instrumental to be part of the team that worked so hard 
to ensure that uh, we are able to close rank and solve all of those challenges and bring the uh, the different factions together so that uh, the issue we have today is viral and is united. Uh, I was instrumental to that. And I've also served as the director of marketing for the same institute. And after I left as an employee, I the passion to see serve and work and ensure the marketing profession is deeply in Nigeria and beyond. All right. So I contested for the position of a member of the council, the government council of the institute. And I was privileged to have won the election and I served in the council. I understand the you know the management approach and the council activities to uh, you know, to uh, be able to contribute my quota. Part of the thing I did, I remember at a point, I I was in Toronto, and I strive to ensure that because I know that an Institute of Marketing Canada, I I met, I was able to meet with the president then of the Institute of Marketing Canada, and I was able to discuss with them how we can they can work with National Institute of Marketing of Nigeria. Uh, we exchanged contact, and I was able to bring that you know. Uh, on board, and I brought that to you know to our council, which was also a part of the you know uh, opportunity to see how we can collaborate and form a you know partnership with a different uh, uh, level of uh, organization that can benefit members essentially. And uh, since then, I've been continuously contributing my quota. So coming to contest for the position of uh, vice president of the institute is not just a dream that just was so sudden. It has been a continuous effort. That be a con continual contribution, and I just feel that uh, even when I was in the council, I happened to be the, the youngest of all the members of the council. All right, so uh, and I feel uh, marketing has evolved and things are changing very fast. And the passion is that we should be able to bridge the gap between the new generation and the older generation. And one of my area of uh, you know continuous uh, uh, persuasion is that. The knowledge of the advanced professionals, the elderly ones, must be given to the upcoming professionals. And so I stand to say I'm a bridge between the generation Z and generation Z, as we want to put it. I'm a bridge between the older generation and the younger generation because I've worked with them. I clearly understand the way they, they want things to be done and they are passionate as well for the marketing profession. So... I sound like a bridge for them, and I strongly believe that uh, I've also be able to privilege to have moved different. You know, in marketing, we have different clusters. You may want to call it. We have the brand uh, practitioner, we have the advertising practitioner, we have the public relation, we have the customer service, we have the business development professionals. But I believe all of these clusters can be strengthened right from the institute, so that any angle you play from in marketing. We can still be professional, we can still be able to exchange uh, ideas, and we can mentor younger ones. And that is my major passion and one of the reasons why I feel I have a lot to contribute to the advancement of the institute. Thank you. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. So what, what plans have you and your team got for M uh, I M N? Thank you. If again, uh, yes, again. Uh, if I don't know if you have been privy to my manifesto, but the, the truth is this. Uh, again, uh, I always say this. Three things are key in leadership, uh, even in business. And for me, I say, number one, your experience, your exposure, and your expertise. All right, when you look at these three things, either as a leader or as a business person, as a professional, you realize that uh, you really cannot achieve much if you don't or you have not gathered some level of experience. And I say to people, experience, they say, is the best teacher. And that is, that would be a best teacher if it's not your own experience. Because what we call your own experience is your reality. So the experience of other people matters. So I've been part of the system. I have seen it, the way it's run, the way things are, I mean, have been worked out, the way things have been, you know, organized. So I strongly believe that with my experience, I've been, serve at different level account for the possibility of being able to do some new things some new things about the institute i also believe my exposure i'm privileged to have traveled different continents and i've been interacted professional across different globe of or, uh, aspect of businesses i mean recently i was in uh, uh, egypt and i was at the african uh, packaging organization uh, conference i was one of the speakers at that event and i interacted with different people from different part of Africa, and I see a lot of gap that marketing can fill. 
all right at that opportunity so i believe one of the things i want to do one is to see how we can bring innovation to how we do things of course certain things again like i said are advancing technology is advancing the the market space the business space is dynamic now and it's changing fast and for our institute we must be able to measure up in fact i have said often and often that the nimm must be an authority now one in the aspect of research we should be able to supply information to businesses and let them know what they can work with in the next five year projections we should be able to do some level of analysis as to our products as to uh, uh, uh customers perception we should be able to do some analysis in fact i have said that marketing should be able to i mean institute of marketing and IMA, should have what i call the definition according to the national institute of marketing of nigeria so these are some of the things i think we can bring on board so i will be encouraging uh establishing a very strong mentoring uh, uh network i'll be encouraging a very strong research-based department that we can tap into the uh, experience of many professionals that have both locally and beyond and also be uh, preaching on and conversing for collaborations and that is the order of the partnership you know our members want to be exposed i mean i just talked about my trip to uh, to egypt and I met with different marketing professionals from different parts of the world, from African continent. And that has enriched my knowledge, enriched my exposure, including my uh, con uh, contact. So I strongly believe that. With that, our members will naturally come forward because they want better opportunity and development. I'm somebody that's crazy and believe, strongly believe in uh, uh, personal development or education. So I want to also see how we can better institutionalize our examination remember i was a student and today i'm a fellow now if there was not that, that opportunity i could have gone through that level of uh, membership and today i'm a fellow and i think that should be strengthened most of our university most of our, our institution polytechnic and what have you we have marketing students they must be empowered there must be a bridge to be able to get them uh, professional get them tutored get them mentored all right, we need to be able to be that. So there's so much to be done, all right, to bring on board, uh, I must say to you, uh, myself and the team, and then with the support of the council, because I also believe that we have a very, very, very uh, strategic uh, council members, professionals, that I believe that we can work together to achieve all of this uh, dream and many more. Interesting, interesting. Now let me ask you, what exactly does marketing mean? Yeah, well... The, again, no, I said earlier that by now, one of my strong uh, beliefs is that the National Institute of Marketing of Nigeria should have its own definition. I mean, marketing definition according to um, American Marketing Association, according to Canadian Marketing Association, according to Good, uh, good Teach Law. You know, so what is our definition in NIMN? But of course, I, I, it can be done by an individual, it has to be collectively agreed. But what I would say, you know, when you see about marketing, because I mean, as a facilitator, as a teacher, one of the things I have known that when you say you are employed to marketing department, some people get shiver. Ah, I'll be working around the sun, I'll be working under the sun, I'll be running that. No, 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 that's not it. Marketing encompasses every activity, all right, that the business has to do or what you want to call it strategic decisions that will impact on attainment or achievement of the organizational ob objective. So everything that is that happens within the system of within an organization involves around marketing. So some people have so school of thought that said marketing is before, during, and after production. And then you look at it that why, how could you say marketing starts even before you have produced the product? Marketing does not start after you have production of the product. Marketing starts because you go into research and development. You must know whether the what you want to develop or what you want to release or the idea are actually idea of the needs of the consumers. You must be able to relate with them. So you, you must develop your idea or product because there are gaps. Okay, so marketing is totality of activities that happen in an organization. All right? Essentially, there will be that maximum satisfaction of the consumer or customers who may want to uh, place it. So that's what, for me, that's what marketing is, it is. So for us in the Institute, we are to regulate all of those activities to ensure that each product, each company, each activity uh, essentially conform with best practice with best standard with basic ethics you know of business and that's what this to stand for all right interesting interesting so why is marketing critical in everything that we do 
Why, why, why is it so critical? It's critical because it's actually, uh, like we were saying, this store marketing is the engine room, all right, of every business. All right, marketing again is the foundation, it's the first thing you do. All right, marketing again is what gives you that opportunity to make the best decision to set up strategy for business organization, even for an individual. All right, what do you do for you to be known? And to be able to be appreciated and get the best value for yourself as an individual, all right, you have to do some element of marketing. And don't for I mean, don't forget, we have different activities also that happen within marketing. Like people will say the four piece, which also has been expanded to the eight piece, or which has gone. You know, you, everybody has evolved different piece. But the basic one, you say the product, you say the price, you say the place, you say the promotion. All of these pieces are fundamentals, you know, to the business success to the organizational growth. And as a nation, Nigeria, as it were, we must repackage ourselves. We must be able to leverage on marketing principles, okay, to showcase what it is you have as a nation, what are the ideas you have, what are the things that you can say we benefit beyond Nigeria and benefit Nigeria as well. So marketing is totality of everything that an organization exists to achieve. All right? So marketing is critical. I mean, uh, you know, in, 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 in I mean, several years ago, you will hear that uh, it's not necessary. Marketing is not necessary. It's not important. The, uh, the, a good product will sell itself. I mean, if, of course, yes, everybody has since moved on from that because that's not reality. You don't go to produce and assume you will sell. You, pro you do your good marketing activities before you produce. And if you don't do that, you pack up. And the beautiful thing is that even every step of the way, you still continue to involve or engage in marketing activities because it's a continual. And like I always say to people, uh, why do Coca Cola spend heavily, heavily on advertising? And I says the budget of advertisement of Coca Cola is much, much more than budget from some state in Nigeria. And it's not a lie, you can Google it. In fact, if not competing with Nigerian budget, I say, whoa. And you're like, why do they spend that much? And they are over 100 years as a company. And that is marketing for you. Because when you keep quiet, it's assumed as you are out of market. So you miss way. I mean, you can imagine what has happened now. Biggie came competing, contending with, uh, with uh, Coca-Cola. That is marketing for you. All right? So there's always a space. There's always that market share that everybody wants to have a buy from. So for every organization, you will always have a competitor direct or very close by. And the moment you do not leverage your marketing or revive or review your marketing strategy, Marketing principle, you are done. All right. Interesting. So, what makes a good marketer? Well, uh, that's uh, <laughs> that in itself, <laughs> you know, is uh, uh, well, the, the reality is that uh, a, a good marketer is not just by appearance and it's not just by uh, uh, what do you say, a, a good English. First, I think the first thing I will say, and I always say, if I want to take a class that, that, I mean, that deals with uh, uh, product knowledge, I call it product knowledge. Now, is the understanding of everything. Especially if you work in an organization, for you to be a good marketer, you must understand what is the vision, the objective, the mission of that organization. What do they tend to achieve? Now, so how do their objective, their corporate objective, how does it align with the needs of the market? So you must be, well, some people will say that uh, you must be able to, to speak. Yeah. yeah, you need to be able to be coordinated, I mean, be able to present yourself. But there are more things than that. So I think it's a function of a lot of things that will make you a very good marketer. It is one, the knowledge and understanding of the business, of the product, of your customer, and what your customer needs. What will make you more superior, you know, in your engagement in, of customers? And I will quickly share a, a short story. When I was with uh, UAC, uh, and uh, we are moved to a new subsidiary, we start, then we started the uh, go see water that you know today. And uh, there was a point we are having an issue about sales. And we, we put it forward to the management that, look, we are having an issue with sales. And they said to us, we need to, we, we said it to them, we need to advertise, spend a little more money, for this product to be known, they said to us, no, US is no, the brand is no, so people will naturally buy. You know, we have done our findings, we are competitors. All right, so at that point, you begin to look at what can you do. And I remember 
one of those days, I had to educate my customers that my product is different from every other water. And because when you get to that point of somehow we want to call it rejection or objection, then you look at what is what can you say again? And I only quickly to tell people, look, one of the things you must continue to emphasize is the benefits of your product. And I said to them, my water is a spring water. So what, what's different between a spring water and, and other waters? Spring water is from the rock. You know, I remember a, a colleague from Ragolis put up an argument and said, Ragolis is from Brazil, there's no rock in Lagos, there's no rock in the Korodu. The rock you have in the Korodu is artificial. So for me, for you to be an effective, a sound marketing person, you must be able to understand everything about your organization, about the product you are handling, and me about the business environment. So it's much more than just going to the market or and be conversing by persuading people to buy buy. That's it for me. All right. So what are the common mistakes that uh, any serious uh, marketer must avoid? Well, again, uh, you know, uh, again, I'll quickly say this. Several, I mean, maybe not too several years ago, but I mean, at a point in time, uh, marketing professionals, as it were, are seen to be second fiddle in organization. They are seen to be like, uh, you know, just one of those, uh, uh, what do you call it, employee of the organization. But of course, that has been since, since been changed because now, I just know that marketing professional marketers, as people refer to them, look, are more strategic to the business organization. Okay, so because of that, I mean, I remember a story of one of the I mean, MD of uh, Mobi saying to me, or to us in the class, look, that he became an MD of Mobi, the first Nigerian to become an MD of Mobi, because he was moved around different departments, and until he was moved into marketing, and they saw what he could deliver. Okay, so that makes it strategic. Marketing is strategic. Okay, so that makes it that, look, unless you give it its own place in the system, in the organization, you may not excel. All right? So, um it's not just another thought uh activity of a business it's a major and strategic so professional marketers professional uh, uh, uh marketing experts are germane to the advancement of that business and that is why they are placed i mean now the 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 cadre in, in terms of hierarchy in terms of uh, progression of career i mean they, they have seen marketing professional becoming MD, group MD, you know, president of companies because why they are sound and they understand. So for you to excel, especially when you are in the career, marketing career, it is continually upgrade yourself, expose yourself, seek more knowledge, seek more information. Things are changing. The way marketing works, you know, marketing is one of the, is the best profession, like I always say to people. And people will take me about asking me why. I said, it's highly dynamic. Because why? How you project and be able to excel with Product A, you can carry that principle or a strategy and adopt it for product, product B. You must be able to analyze pro, uh, product B and give its own customized approach. And that is one thing that makes marketing so, so unique and so fantastic. I mean, as a medical doctor, the procedure to conduct certain operation are almost the same. So I just go through the procedure and I perform the operation and I'm, I'm done. But for marketing, you can adapt, adopt that principle. You must be able to customize it to different scenarios, different products, different situations and circumstances. I hope I'm able to answer your question. <laughs> All right. On a final note, on a final note, what is IAD means definition of marketing? Your own personal definition. Earlier on, we were talking about the American definition, the that of uh, the UK, that of uh, Canada, uh, the Nigeria needs to get your own. But now let's get the definition of marketing of IADM. What's your own definition well, of well, 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 I'll try to make it a very compact one. And my own usual uh, you know uh, definition or uh, description of marketing will be the total uh, strategic decisions, all right, that will impact the growth of the organization such that we bring maximum satisfaction, all right, to your targeted audience, all right? Because your targeted audience can be buyers, can be cons customers, which is direct consumption. It could be used for so subsequent uh, production activities. So that's my own usual. So these are all the strategic decisions that we, you know, impart the attainment or achievement of the organizational 
objective such that you will bring maximum satisfaction to your targeted audience. That would be my own simple definition of marketing. How did you follow right. up with marketing? What's, what's, what got you interested in marketing? Of all the professions in the world, why did you settle for marketing? Okay, amazing. Really, uh, when I was growing up, you know, okay, uh, I had the uh, uh, siblings or cousins that are actually studying accounting. Because I like calculation, so I thought I was going to go into accountancy. But lo and behold, uh, when I was going to get admission, I got admission into uh, a, a, a closer, a related course of uh, business, uh, something then, uh, close to marketing. So eventually I changed to marketing. Now, since I got involved in marketing, I like to do some busy reading, research. I fall in love, perhaps maybe how I was trained. But again, I, when as a young child, you know, our parents were also involved in business. And so we have them having uh, this water business and all of that. And then we have customers coming to our shops, buying. So I've always kind of been involved in engaging with customers, persuading them, even as a young, I mean, young uh, person. So when I studied marketing, because marketing was my, I mean, my first course was marketing, I fell in love because I was able to see that it's so unique and dynamic and it's so complex. Un unlike other professions, that are kind of a uh, straight jacket that you can predict. Even accountancy. I like accountants, I tell them they are lazy people because they have procedure. If you don't call, follow accounting principle, you will miss it and there will be a problem. Marketing, there's no principle. There's no direct principle. You must work out your principle to achieve the best. So I fell in love marketing because even as of today, marketing seems very, very relevant and it's a profession that can never die because it keeps evolving. I mean, you've you had a legal marketing, you've had a brand marketing, you have a different kind of marketing. Everybody is just trying to take a, a share of the marketing profession. And marketing, I tell anybody, is the best profession that anybody can really dream to be part of. Thank you.